Hey everybody, so I've been kind of on like um, a f doing video rampage lately. I guess not a rampage, but just um, <clears throat> I've had some extra time so I'm doing videos and I've already made one today. So this video is about how I got clear skin. It's a little bit different than normal. I just, it's not just going to be like products that you have to buy and blah 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 whatever it's a, it's gonna be a combination of things first things first is you're gonna want to take make sure that you take care of your skin and the way I take care of my skin is I want to keep it clean I have this kind of obsession now did you know did you know that if you do something 28 days in a row it becomes a habit so um I have like kind of an obsession with like washing my face and it's not like I do it like a million times a day I just do it before I go to bed and when I wake up and you really really want to make sure you do it before you go to bed especially if you're going to be sleeping on your pillowcases every night because if you have dirt and oil and stuff on your face which is a good idea to clean your hair before you go to bed too um, then it will transfer onto your skin every night after night like the same bacteria so it's going to keep your skin getting um, bacteria on it and, and causing acne. I like to use a bar of soap that's not really technically soap, it's Dove and I just have mine right here. It's just like a bar of soap like this, like literally a bar of soap. The thing I like about Dove is that it's actually um, really gentle on the skin and it doesn't leave a film. So it doesn't leave your skin feeling like really tight and hard like say like Irish Spring or um, Zest would make you feel. It's, it's very soft and it's very um, cleansing and I actually got recommended to use that by a um, pharmacist and I just use that all over my face just to get my makeup off first and then what I do is I'll use the St. Eyes Naturally Clear Apricot Scrub and I feel like this is good to like um, clean out your pores make everything smooth and, and um, clean out you know all the dirt and bacteria off your skin so it get, leaves it nice and open for what I do next. So this is really good. I like this because it's very, it has 2% salicylic acid in it and it's really sandy. Like it really has a lot of grit to it. And so that just gives like an initial clean to my skin and then I go in with the Cetaphil oily skin cleanser, non-comedogenic because my skin is really oily. So I like to use this to go over top that and just to clean my skin completely off, make sure everything is totally off of my skin. Another thing that I've started to do is, um, which is hard at the beginning because if you still have acne, this is really, really hard to do, but I've stopped wearing foundation and what I've been doing is I've just been using a um, tinted moisturizer. So this one is uh, SPF 15, sorry, the Marcel, I use Marcel Sheer Tint, it's luminous beige and it's actually a little bit darker than my skin tone, which I like and I'll rub it down my neck. It doesn't give you like a, a mask look or anything, it just gives you kind of like a, a little bit of a tint of a color um, so I don't look so white. Um, this is actually hypoallergenic and non-comedogenic. So when you want to look for something like this, you want to look for something that's non-comedogenic and preferably hypoallergenic because um, it won't cause you to break out and this hasn't caused me to break out which is really good. It makes your skin look more natural and it gives you a little bit of coverage, not a ton like a foundation would give you and it gives you like a nice shine to your skin because natural skin is not really really matte. If you have really matte skin I think it's more noticeable to tell if you are wearing foundation and stuff like that If you're because it got, looks kind of caked on. If your face is a little bit shinier, you just I feel like you look healthier, it, your lines and your wrinkles or whatever if you have any or if you have you know it's not as noticeable if you are just using a tinted moisturizer and then for any of like my main parts like I get redness around my nose and like any acne spots or like um, any of my sorry I was just sticking my finger, middle finger up at you any of my discoloration or anything like that I'll use a um, concealer and then for my concealer I've been using the conceal effects camouflage in light and it looks dark it actually looks dark but it's weird because um, when you put it on your skin I don't know if you guys can see that but then when you rub it in it turns lighter can you see I have been using which my favorite foundation is the true beige um, is the color Revlon Color Stay because for oily skin I think this is the best but the only problem is I think it was, was breaking me out so I stopped using this um, only on special occasions and stuff like that I was using it so let me just tell you a little bit about me and my skin um, 
I have fair skin, maybe you've noticed, um, but uh, it, it does get sensitive too. So when I was about 14 years old, I had really, really nice skin, didn't really have to worry about it. Um, but then when I got a little bit older, like 15 years old, is when uh, like all HE double hockey sticks broke out. Like seriously, it was not good. Um, I, I was lucky enough not to have like the cystic acne with like the big, you know, you know, pustules and stuff like that on your skin. I, you know, that looks very, very painful. I never had that kind of acne. My acne consisted of on my forehead, which was, I had my skin, my whole face, like, I looked like I had like a mask, was like pink. It was really pink color. And, um, I had little bumps all over my forehead that were like, to feel the touch is just, oh, it just, it was awful. Like, it wouldn't, there was nothing really to pop. I think there was just, like, tons of blackheads all over my forehead. And then I got acne, um, along here, which, a ton of acne along here, which I still have hyperpigment, hyperpigmentation and scarring from. So, um, my skin looks good on camera, and I know a lot of, a lot of YouTubers say this. My skin looks a million times better on camera than it does in real life. Um... And I just want to tell you a couple things that I've done uh, that ha that worked for me, especially when I was 15 years old. I went to the doctor. I never saw a dermatologist, and she first gave me um, like a wash, um, benzoyl peroxide wash that you're supposed to only use. I think one. You're supposed to slowly get into it, but I was like, oh, no, I want to get it all off now. Whatever. That ended up totally drying out my skin. They have very oily skin ended up totally drying out my skin and making my face red, more red and worse and it was just awful. It was absolutely awful. I, I just stopped using that. Then um, she tried to, no, actually first she used, she put me on Differin gel which is like a gel that did absolutely nothing. Like I was doing these things for long periods of time that I know I tried out first because you know sometimes things take a little bit of time to start working but um, it just, it did not work for me. So after that, she decided to put me on um, a type of pill, and it wasn't like a pill, like a, like Accutane or anything like that. It was she, she, it was actually a, a birth control pill, and I, I I was kind of hesitant of doing this video just because of what I'm talking about right now. And obviously, I don't want you to go into doing anything before you, of course, talk to your parents first and uh, talk to your doctor about it. Because everybody's different and, you know, there's all different situations for everybody. But it ended up being a type of birth control pill that wasn't on the market necessarily for birth control. It was just, it was mainly, like if you read the, the directions um, and all the information about it, it says that's mainly used for acne. So she put me on that and she said, you know, it might take a couple of months to work. But I'm telling you, like the first uh, month I started using it. I noticed that my acne, especially on my forehead, started to like fade. It started from the sides here, and it started to fade in. So like I started getting clear skin like out, out here and then into the center, and then my whole um, forehead got clear. And I was like so shocked. And then as I kept using it, my whole face got clear again. So usually, comes to stuff like this, like the like um um medications that you take like orally and whatever you have to give it time to work so if it's not working within the first month give it time because your body has to get time to have time to get used to it and stuff like that and um so my skin i would say within four months was completely clear i had no more breakouts anything as long as i stayed on the pill i was fine so i stayed on that pill for um about three years i was on that pill and um, so I, I decided, you know what, I'm getting older. My skin's probably cleared up by now. I think I was about eight and uh, 19. So I'm like, I'm just gonna stop taking it. So I stopped taking it and um, it was it was okay for a while. Like for a long time, my skin was fine. Like I would get like a random breakout every once in a while. Um, up until about three years ago, my skin started getting worse again. And which is really frustrating because when you're younger and you're told, oh, you'll grow out of it, you'll grow out of it, you know, you're, 
in your 20s you won't have acne anymore and blah 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 like don't worry about it like you know it's just a teenage thing no, it's not necessarily true it's so because so now I have adult acne and that is the most frustrating thing because at least if you're a teenager you're, you know most teenagers are, are teenagers are expected to have acne and I'm not saying that it's okay for teenagers to have acne and, and it doesn't hurt your self-esteem because believe me my self-esteem was zero I had zero self-esteem and especially when I, I started to get more more breakouts um, my self-esteem totally went down the drain I was like like, it's not like I ever got made fun of. I was never, I was lucky that way. Like, nobody ever really, I've never experienced getting picked on, which I'm very, very glad for and lucky to have never experienced that. But, um, I wouldn't talk to anybody. I wouldn't go swimming. I wouldn't, you know, it's because I was so self-conscious of my face. Like, I would just, I would just, I would just cry every night. I would feel so terrible about myself, which, um, I shouldn't have because, you know, it's about your personality. It's not about what you look like on the outside, but I'm a very sensitive person and it just made me feel really bad about myself. And um, so to have something that started to work was really, really nice. So when I started to get into my adult age or whatever, um, I decided that I was going to start taking another form of birth control to control my acne because I heard of other ones. So I started taking a less to try to clear my skin and my skin did not clear whatsoever it was very frustrating I was like you know what I'm gonna have acne forever it sucks like I don't know what to do and this is when I've been making videos like I'm talking up until like six months ago I had active acne that I would hide very well on camera always with a ton of makeup and stuff like that um, right now I don't have any active breakouts which is amazing and I haven't had any active breakouts for about like I would say a month or two months now like any like not even one this is what worked for me it won't necessarily work for you for, work for you so make sure you ask your parents and a doctor before obviously you going through with any of this so I hope this helped you out a little bit and I'll talk to you guys later